Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Angstrich Hot Rods, Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times between both of our locations. We never take them down. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit has been sold and is no longer available. Hangstersgarage.com. Not only is there a link there at the top of our website to Hangsters Garage, but also hangstersgarage.com is where you can find automotive parts and accessories that we ship all over the United States, as well as install uh, wheel and tire packages, lift kits, uh, vintage air systems, digital dash changeouts, uh, front disc brake conversions, all kinds of uh, merchandise for your uh, truck, Jeep, hot rod, whatever your uh, needs may be. So hangstersgarage.com, check that out. If you're watching a video and you see a, a, an SUV or a car or a truck that you want different wheels on or you want AC added to or so on and so forth, we can do all that stuff for you. So check that out. Uh, K-Blazers, uh, we've been doing well with the K-Blazers and with the Broncos. Today we have for you a 1984 Chevrolet K5. Uh, it does have power brakes, it does have power steering, and it does have AC. So we'll uh, check on the test drive if the AC does work or not. Uh, 350, uh, it's not the original motor. The, uh, the vehicle started life with a 305, so, but it is a 350 in there now. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess we'll start out with the grill. Grill's in pretty good shape. Somebody has blacked out the, uh, the bow tie. It probably used to be gold, but now it's black. Uh, overall condition of the grill, pretty good. You can see that it is an older grill. It does show signs of age a little bit up front here, but uh, all in all, not cracked up or busted up. Um, just some faint uh, fading in certain areas. Same thing with your uh, headlights, high beams, low beams. Uh, they look to be in good shape. Front bumper. Uh, chrome looks good, uh, no uh, flaking, uh, no rust around the uh, bumper bolts. You have a uh, plastic lower spoiler there underneath the uh, bumper that's also in good shape, looks to be newer. Uh, it's not cracked up or uh, heavily um, faded. Top of the hood uh, looks good, a driver quality paint job on the vehicle. Um, no signs of a clear coat fade. Uh, any kind of uh, debris in the paint, bubbles, cracking, anything like that up top on the uh, hood area. On the side of the vehicle, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of black and um, it looks, uh, paint looks good overall. Uh, you have a uh, gray pinstripe that's going to run down uh, the, the, the body line to the fender, the door, and the uh, lower, uh, the uh, rear uh, cab there. Uh, wheel opening moldings, chrome uh, with a black uh, insert. Uh, Cooper Discovery all-terrain tires, radial. Take a look at the front windshield. Uh, front windshield looks to me to be pretty good. I don't see anything uh, cracked. I don't see any chips. Chrome mirrors, dual. Driver and passenger, they do collapse. I'm not going to push them in, but they do uh, push in. Uh, driver door, paint, looks good uh, both high and low. You don't see anything uh, there uh, bubbled low, uh, any kind of cracking uh, in the, uh, the paint up top. Uh, simple, uh, just drip rail, uh, no chrome around the uh, drip rail going around the driver's window. And the driver window clarity looks to be pretty good, along with the vent window glass. Take a look inside. Um, door panel looks to be in pretty good shape. Door pulls are in good condition. Power windows, power door locks, we'll test those on the test drive. Armrest looks to be in uh, good condition, it's not cracked. Uh, carpeting at the bottom of the doors is new. The, uh, we put it on there, the uh, stuff that was on there was warped. Uh, gray interior. Uh, driver's seat, passenger seat, you have captain's chairs, uh, center console with some cup holders and a uh, storage compartment there. Uh, the black carpeting in the truck looks good, looks to be newer. 
Same thing with the uh, floor mats. The floor mats are new. Uh, also, the uh, gauge cluster, um, well, I guess around the gauges, that's all new. Uh, the plastic piece and all your uh, chrome around your uh, bezels, your gauges there. Um, we'll take a closer look at that on the test drive. Four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive does work in the vehicle. By the way, we spent the money to have the tranny rebuilt, so the tranny's brand new. It didn't have a third gear when we got it. It does now. Um, the transmission's been completely gone through. doesn't even have 10 miles on it yet. Um, so, shooting down the side of the vehicle, um, much of the same. You can tell that the driver door lines up nicely to the uh, rear of the vehicle and to the front of the fender. The body lines are real nice on the, on the truck. Um, there's no uh, blistering down here low on the paint. Um, nothing up top. All the paint looks good around the, uh, your, your windows there on your uh, topper. Gray pinstripe looks good going down the entire body line of the truck. Uh, wheels look good as well. Take a close look at those in the still photos, but the uh, chrome on the wheels, it's like a, a brushed look. Uh, looks good. I don't see anything pitted or rusted there. Around the back of the vehicle, uh, you have that rear uh, window, hit big rear window. You got a uh, little spoiler up top there. Um, your uh, rear uh, gate molding uh, is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's not dented, dinged. It does look to be uh, original, and if it's not original, you know, it's uh, definitely older. It's not new by any stretch. Uh, but again, it's it's in pretty good condition. Same thing with your Chevrolet badging there that's on the actual um, rear tailgate portion. Your uh, bumper, um, it does show some signs of age there. You can see there's little etch marks um, or patina in the chrome. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not flaking, it's not rusted, it's not peeling. Uh, you see your bumper bolts there are in pretty good condition around those, but uh, there is, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not a brand new bumper for sure. Uh, power rear window. We'll roll that down. We'll uh, pop, the, uh, pop the tailgate open, show you guys that. Uh, back of the tailgate looks good. Um, your area where the tailgate closure sits is good. Uh, it's not rusted at the bottom of the gate not rusted where the uh, tailgate closes. Uh, carpeting in the back looks to be in pretty decent condition. Um, rear seat, we'll take a look at that here shortly. Uh, there will also be still photos of that on the website. But the uh, overall condition of the back, you know, cargo area there looks to be in pretty nice shape. Uh, the quarter I guess rear, um, you know, on the passenger side there, your uh, bed side looks good uh, from a paint standpoint um, and from a, a straight, you know, the, the straightness of the vehicle. Uh, the, the rear quarter here on the uh, passenger side is real straight, lines up nicely with the door and with the front fender. Um, nice solid uh, SUV. Again, paint on the topper uh, is in good condition. The uh, moldings around your uh, window closures there looks to be in good shape. Uh, pinstriping again on the uh, passenger side here, uh, running down the body line of the truck looks to be good. Wheel opening moldings are in good condition. The black uh, is all there. Chrome looks to be in, in order, looks to be in nice shape. And you know, these SUVs sit higher, so you can clearly see there uh, the lower portions of the body itself. There's no uh, blistering or cracking. Nice unit. Take a look in the passenger side. Uh, door panels in good shape. Again, your door pulls. Uh, there is a little crack there at the top of the door. Uh, it's very min minute, minuscule, whatever you want to say. Uh, you can barely see it, but it is there. Uh, little pocket here, uh, map pocket. Again, the uh, carpeting at the bottom of the door is brand new. I'll pop the seat forward here. You can look in the back. Uh, the material on the uh, seats in good condition. You have rear seat belts. Uh, the carpeting in the vehicle is nice. 
And again, the uh, captain's chair there on the uh, passenger side, same as the driver's side. Center console looks to be in good shape. Floor shifter's in nice condition. Dash pad looks to be all in one piece. We'll take a look at that when we're on the test drive. Show you a close, closer look at that. Uh, inside the vehicle is much easier to show. Again, the collapsible mirror, chrome on the passenger side door, just as it was on the driver's side. Uh, pinstriping on the front fender. Uh, nice, not uh, faded, not uh, peeling, not torn. And the uh, passenger side front fender, uh, fitment's nice. No, uh, again, no blistering cracking down low there. You can see the paint's in nice shape. Pretty decent vehicle. It's a driver quality piece. Um, you know, we, we showed you uh, around the vehicle uh, briefly inside. We're gonna take it out on the rack, put it in the air. We'll show you what the undercarriage looks like. And then we're gonna do a little test drive in it and we'll show you what it runs like. I do encourage you guys to come to Daytona Beach in person to look at whatever vehicle you might be interested in, especially if this is your first classic car purchase. We'd be more than happy to pull whatever unit you might be in interested in outside for you so you can look at the paint and the sunshine real good uh, we'll let you put it on the rack like we're going to do with this one here in just a couple minutes we'll let you look at the undercarriage bottom of the motor transmission in this case transfer case uh, tires we'll let you drive it you can see how it accelerates how the transmission shifts how uh, it performs steers stops starts all that fun stuff uh, we do it daily here in our Daytona showroom, and like I said, we sell. We are in the business of selling 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. So we definitely encourage you to come in person to uh, put your hands on, sit in, start, drive the vehicle that you might be interested in. Let's take it around back. We'll see which lift out there is open. We'll put it in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do a short little test drive and show you guys how this 84 Blazer runs. Underneath our 84 Chevy Blazer, you have disc brakes up front. You can get a nice clear view of the oil pan there. Looks nice and dry at this time. Headers, driver and passenger. Take a look at the tranny pan. That looks nice and dry at this time as well. Flywheel is covered. Take a look back further on the transmission transfer case. I don't see anything leaking. Nothing out of the tail shaft seal. You have uh, frame rails, driver's side, passenger side. Those look good. You can see there's no rust holes, rot holes in those. Uh, dual mufflers, I don't see a name brand on them. The exhaust system looks good. Uh, headers look good, welds are good on the exhaust system. I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes in the exhaust system or in the mufflers. Drum brakes in the rear. Those big, uh, big leaf springs, those look to be in good shape. Let's take a look at the, the gas tanks covered. Uh, let's see, got a metal tank, metal skid plate. Rear end looks good. That doesn't le need see seem to be leaking anything. Plenty of tread on the all terrains. Wear bars are way down there. Uh, s exhaust pipes coming out behind the uh, rear wheels look good. Again, I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes in them. Do have a uh, hitch here if you want to tow something small with it. Small boat, jet skis, little camper, something like that. Before we set this down on the ground, let's discuss payment options. If you are a cash buyer, uh, cashier's check or bank wire transfer are usually the two most common forms of payment. If you're coming to visit us, you can certainly bring us cash. Uh, we do have people still do that from time to time. How about financing? The collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10 year loan on our classic cars with approved credit, of course. 10% minimum down payment and then the remaining balance over the five to 10 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. Approvals based on debt to income ratio, credit score, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the vehicle, uh, so on and so forth. For example, they won't do anything 10 years on a vehicle under 50 grand. I think the cap under 50 is like eight. 
So um, keep that in mind. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. Check the air, make sure it's blowing cold, torque the lug nuts, check tire pressures, make sure we have reverse lights, brake lights, headlights, high beams, low beams, wipers, all that stuff. We go through it one last final time. Anything can stop working at any time on an older car, truck or SUV, of course. Once it's through inspection, we call a carrier for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Generally, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. Sometimes it may take a little longer um, if it's a uh, little bit more remote or rural destination, but I promise you we will get you your vehicle as quickly as we possibly can. Let's set this uh, 84 Blazer down on the ground. We will take it on a test drive in the Daytona sunshine and see how the vehicle runs out. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, there is a uh, switch for the rear window right here. I'm gonna put the rear window up. So you can see that works with the uh, button up and down. Uh, tilt wheel. See the sun shining, we are in August in Daytona, so I'm gonna put the air on. First, I'll put it on high so you guys can hear it. And then we're just gonna kick it down because it is blowing ice cold, so. Um, tilt wheel, I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not. Horn. Wipers. Uh, battery voltage, oil, clock, and temp all function. Clock's ticking. 47,858 is the mileage on the odometer. Title is exempt. Um, fuel gauge is functioning. We do have a quarter tank. Uh, power door locks. Power windows. Driver. Passenger. Headliner. Like I said, uh, the, uh, the four-wheel drive does work. By the way, there is no radio. Um, I mentioned to you in the showroom, we replaced this bezel here. Uh, there is a radio that we have for it. It's like a JVC or something like that. Somebody cut this all out and shoved an aftermarket radio in there and it just looked bad. So um, I'm leaving it the way that it was from the factory. If you wanna buy a retro radio or like a factory style radio and stick it in there without having to cut it, you can do that. If you want to hack it, cut it, that's up to you. But uh, we're going to leave it just like that. That's why there's no radio. Um, dash pad's in good shape. AC's blown cold. Showed you the windows, door locks. Thing runs fantastic. We're idling nicely here, not overheating. Uh, we're up to about 120, 130 right now. So we're going to take it on a test drive and we'll monitor the uh, temp throughout the drive. Okay, inside of our 84 Blazer, vehicle tracks nice and straight. Speedometer's functioning and it's on the money, which surprises me for the uh, all-terrain tires. 40 miles per hour, hopefully you guys can see that with the sun glare. It's not bouncing around either. Um, with the uh, oversized tires on it, the vehicle doesn't have a tendency to want to walk like some of them do. You know, they, the higher they sit, kind of want to wander from side to side this one doesn't also the uh, tread noise you can't even hear it in here uh, sometimes with the uh, oversized tires with the all-terrain tires you get like a uh, you know like a tread noise like a you know noise but uh, this one doesn't have it it's, it, it rides nicely the k5 blazers and the k10 pickups they've always ridden real nice and this one's no exception. We're coming up to a traffic light here. I don't know if I'll have a red light or a green light. Oh, that answers my question. I'm gonna have a red light. So we're gonna brake here, see what kind of, uh, how the brakes work nice. No pulsation or vibration out of the brakes whatsoever. They stop nicely. Give it a little gas here. I told you the training's just been rebuilt, so we'll run it through a couple gears. Shifts perfectly. That's 50, I'm gonna shut it off there simply because there's law enforcement behind me and we're in a 45. 
There we are at 50 miles per hour, tracking straight, no vibration in the steering wheel, no vibration in the tires, in the motor, in the transmission, in the drivetrain. Uh, vehicle rides nice and smooth, has a good look to it. Interior's in nice condition. Showed you the back seat there, it's got rear seat belt, so if you do have children or whatever you wanna ride around. This is something you could probably use as a daily driver. Um, has air, power steering, power brakes, power windows, power door locks. So it is, uh, it is equipped for the, you know, for the year. Nice ride. Great color too. We've already got a lot of interest in our showroom prior to this vehicle being ready. So I imagine we'll definitely get a lot of interest when it's actually on the website today. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We will put all the photos we took of this vehicle today, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. We normally do it on an enclosed carrier. However, if we are shipping this vehicle for you, it will be on an open carrier simply because it will not fit on an enclosed carrier. It's too high, too big. Also, it includes a powertrain warranty. The warranty is good on engine, transmission, and rear end, internal components. We do not cover anything else. Starters, brakes, oil pan gaskets, tranny pan gaskets, you know, all that type of stuff, those wear and tear items, they are on you. We offer no coverages for those whatsoever. We do offer coverage on major mechanical breakdowns of the engine, transmission, and rear end. So if you do have a, uh, you know, a, a, a powertrain failure, you will have coverage for that. The price of the truck is negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, the shipping comes off. You can, um, we'll hand you off to somebody that handles shipping exclusively. Um, that's all they do. And you can coordinate uh, between the two of you, the shipping arrangements on the vehicle. Um, or you can come pick it up yourself on a uh, open trailer or uh, drive it home if you're in Central Florida here, if you're local to us, or maybe you're in Georgia somewhere, you know, close, you want to put a couple hundred miles on the thing, you can come drive it home. Also, at a negotiated price, there is no warranty. Uh, the warranty is good at full retail price only. So, negotiated price, no shipping, no warranty. Full price, shipping, and warranty. We will be making this uh, vehicle live on our website today. By the way, our temp's about 190, which is right where it should be. Uh, we're still uh, running cool and uh, no spitting, sputtering, stalling out, hesitation, anything like that. And the AC's blowing nice cold. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. We do export these vehicles as well. So if you're watching us uh, from across the pond or from a distance and you'd like to uh, have one of these vehicles shipped to your country, we can handle that from A to Z for you too. I know a lot of you guys in uh, foreign countries have your own exporters. That's great if you want to use them. Uh, it gives us less work to do. But maybe you, if you don't have somebody, we can help you with that whole process as well and get you your uh, dream classic car, or collector car uh, to your country or to your port. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach, and our website is hangsters.com. Please check us out. I have a feeling this 84 Blazer will go quickly.